Hello, YouTube. I'm actually doing a voiceover in advance. Does that mean I'm gonna remember to post this video on time? I don't know. But we can all hope and we can all pray. So, we're on to Birdie Paradise. And I, I must sound so excited, you guys, because I am, because I love this drawing. <laughs> okay, I love this drawing. I adore it. I adore this character. And what's funny about it is that it is so far from what I initially pictured. It is so far from what I initially wanted to do. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dog running around in the background. She's decided she doesn't want to be quiet. Anyway, <laughs> this reference is not one I ever thought I'd be using. Like, I like to save references on my Pinterest board that I don't really think I would usually use because I want to challenge myself to use references that wouldn't immediately jump out to me and to challenge my sense of style a little bit and not be so cookie cutter. And when I saw the Bird of Paradise flower and those like little, I don't know, are they petals? Like the way the petals stick straight up like that, my first thought was mohawk. I needed a mohawk in my life. But I had never, literally ever drawn a mohawk before this. And I was like, how does one, how does one mohawk? And I wanted to figure out a cool way to do it. And I saw this reference with this bright blue hair and the craziest little like three pronged eyeliner I'd ever seen. And it is so far from what I'm used to drawing that I just decided that I had to do it. I had to. It was just this deep calling in my soul as a human being. <laughs> and I was so excited from the instant I started drawing this one. I just felt good about it. And I still think that it turned out to be one of the better drawings in this entire series. I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but it's up there. <laughs> it is high on the list, let me tell you that, because I just, I loved all the details in it. I love like the little chains I'm doing here. I was a little lazy with the chains and I just kind of kept copy and pasting it over and over again. And then I realized I couldn't do that come a point because it just didn't work. Coco, quiet. Dogs, am I right? Can't live them, can't live without them. Can't live them, can't live with them. I, I don't know what I said. I don't know if I English. I am in the middle of midterms, you guys. Be merciful. Anyway, I, I just loved, I loved everything about this. I love the color palette because it has these vibrant oranges and reds. And those are colors that I never really touch on because I just, I don't. I find that they're just not my favorite colors to use but I absolutely adored how they came out in this hair. I just think that the hair was very fiery and intense and I just imagine this girl being like a, a punk rock musician and just on stage loving her life. <laughs> and then to combine it with the color palette, I mean with the purples and the greens that I do use and that I do like, it was kind of refreshing to mix in colors I never ordinarily put together, which is so silly because orange and yellow and red go well with green and purple. That's just color theory. <laughs> yellow and purple are complementary colors to each other and so are red and green. And so having purples and greens with yellows and reds and oranges it just works and the fact that this color palette blew me away so much is maybe a little ridiculous <laughs> but i just i enjoyed stepping out of my aesthetic comfort zone and going for something fun and unique and bright and in your face so i just i fell very quickly in love with this wild child and her drawing just makes me happy it just, it makes me really happy, you guys. And I, I don't know what it is entirely about this drawing. I think I'm just really proud of how I executed it. It looks like the reference, and yet it still has my own unique flair and style. And 
it just made me feel like I was really excelling at what I wanted to do. It made me feel like I wasn't messing up and like I was making progress. And just, I can get really insecure about my art sometimes, especially when I come out of a period of art block. And after Rosie, I was really insecure because I didn't like how Rosie turned out. I thought it was a bad drawing and I was frustrated. And then all of a sudden I just whipped out this drawing and it really goes to show that if you're having trouble with drawing, the answer is just to keep drawing and to draw something different. And that's exactly what I did. And I stepped way out of my comfort zone and it turned out awesome. <laughs> um, I think the bright, intense colors are just so much fun and so interesting to look at. It's very visually appealing. It pops. It's in your face. And I don't usually do the in-your-face color palettes. And I think I should. <laughs> That's what I'm learning from the Flower Girl experience is that I really need to experiment more with color and form. And those are things that I'm really enjoying working with. It's also challenging me to work on different kinds of faces and different proportions and different skin tones. I learned through the course of this series, the Flower Girl series, that I'm not very good at shading dark skin tones. And that's something that I'm working on and I think it's something that you'll see in a couple videos that I think I've really improved on so far. And it's not always perfect, but I think that I'm getting a better hang of it because I'm doing it. And really, at the end of the day, that's all that you can do, is that you can just keep practicing. And in my dog's case, keep jingling your jingle bell collar. I'm looking at you. That's right, I'm looking at you. She's adorable, but she's a menace. <laughs> anyway, you guys. I, I really just wanted to share this drawing for the longest time, because as you may or may not know, I have filmed all of the flower girls and I have had them all filmed for a while but I wanted to release them on a steady schedule so that I was um so that I had some footage in case you know I wasn't able to draw something and it takes a lot of pressure to have pre-filmed videos off my shoulders because then it's like I don't have to worry so much if I don't get a video done um in the time span that I wanted to and that was really refreshing for me and at the same time, it's a little frustrating because I really just want to share these drawings with you guys. I, I was so excited about this one that I was so bummed I couldn't post it on social media until I had um, posted the video that I actually went ahead and posted it on social media in a few places. Mostly Twitter. <laughs> I posted it on Twitter multiple times, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because I just, I think this drawing turned out well, and I love the shading in the hair, and I thought it was really fun to shade this, like, rich orange color with these deeper reds, and to try and add, like, the yellow highlights. I thought that it made it look very dimensional, and very fun, and interesting, and I liked switching up the hues, but I also went in and added a little bit of complementary shading, which was also really interesting and fun. And I like doing the complimentary shading, but don't always do it as much as I should. <laughs> I know it's like one of those things that people tell you in like fundamental art classes is like, yeah, shade with complimentary colors. And I'm always like, oh, that's such a cool idea. And then I never do it because I suck, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay that I suck. I'm getting better and that's all that matters you guys. Anyway, I've been talking for nine minutes and I will probably have an outrageously long outro again, because I always do. But I think that's where I'm gonna leave this voiceover, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I enjoyed it. And I had just so much fun with this drawing and I love watching it back. I've watched it back like four times now maybe a little addicted to this barn and i'm really glad i got to share it on my channel and now you guys get to see it can you tell i'm hyper i'm hyper i'm blaming the soda even though that's probably not it i'm probably just so hyper today anyway i think that is all for this week i hope you have a good morning evening afternoon nighttime time of day and i will catch you guys in the next video if you're subscribed 
which you should be, you should also hit the notification bell. And those are my calls to action. Like you should like and comment. Please comment. I'm lonely. And these are calls to action. That's what YouTubers say you have to do in your videos. And I'm doing it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not all that peeved, you guys. I just really hope that you enjoy these videos that I put out. And I enjoy making them. So as long as I enjoy making them and people enjoy watching them, even if it's just one or two, I will happily continue posting. So that said, you guys, I'm going to leave this one there. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.